Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, September 15th, 2018. I am walking on my way to my meeting, and it, it is 7 o'clock in the morning, and I will talk to you guys on the next clip. Good morning, brother. I just got out of my AA meeting, and um, it was a good one. Uh, I love to start my mornings with my AA, of course, as you know, on Saturdays. And um, something that we talked about was as part of uh, the meeting, a book goes around and we write our names so that we can sign in. And a lot of people tend to just um, skip it and not sign their name in. And one of the old timers uh, wanted to make a statement about it and say that <clears throat> the reason why you put your name in there is to show that you are taking action towards your sobriety and that you are still working on your step one to realize that your life is unmanageable uh, under the influence of alcohol. And um, I used to think that it would be okay if I didn't talk that day because there are so many people in the room. But sometimes you have to realize that... <laughs> Even if you say something that's not provocative or something that is not as big or as long-winded as some other people, there might be something in your story that other people may relate to and may click in their mind about something to help them with their sobriety. So that's one of the things that we learn in our meetings is to give back. And so that is why I am now inspired to always put my name on there and not to be scared to be called upon because again, it's part of the higher plan. So I think that if you are going to AA meetings and you are attending them, just write your name down and at least you could say, hi, my name is Jay, I'm an alcoholic and I'm grateful to be here today. Something as simple as that. If you wanna share, go ahead and share. If you don't wanna share, no need to share, but there's nothing wrong or nothing bad with signing in just to show some respect for the rest of the fellowship. So hopefully you guys are having a great Saturday so far. I am getting ready for work. And if you're at the casino, hope you're winning big. I will talk to you guys on the next clip. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is your boy Jay. I'm here with Mama NorCal. She doesn't want to talk. Okay. I'm driving. Hello guys. <laughs> All right, so we, I just got out of work and um, I got a lot of work done, not like necessarily related to my work, but I got two videos done <laughs> um, for you guys to show and um, mom picked me up from work because I'm still not driving and we decided where are we going? Great! So there's a free gift a giveaway this week and it's a single cup coffee maker and that's what we're gonna go pick up today at Grayton and uh, we usually don't go this late it is now 10 till 4 o'clock p.m. and uh, we usually leave our house by 5 30 5 o'clock in the morning to be one of the first people at Grayton but since we're not doing anything today we decided to drive up to Grayton so, yeah. It's lots of traffic. Yeah, it's going to take us about two hours to get to Grayton now because of the traffic. Uh, it is Saturday, and there's usually a lot of traffic in the daytime. When, that's why we go in the morning. Usually it just takes us an hour and a half, and that's with a stop at Starbucks or at the gas station, or sometimes we treat ourselves to McDonald's for breakfast. <clears throat> um... What else? Um, we might meet up with people. Oh yeah, so I texted some folks to see if uh, they're around and I think some of my brothers are going to be up there today so you might see some other people in the vlog or in a future slot video. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we were just at Grayton last weekend so hopefully we can win some more money back because I pretty much left even last weekend I think it was up maybe 20 40 bucks but um, yeah I left pretty much even did you win I lost. oh mom lost but we had fun we had a great time 
um, so yeah, again, uh, in AA today, we talked about um, responsibility, we talked about a new life. Um, so, something that I talked about in my share is about new life is being able to remember things, re to remember what happened in the day and not to wake up in the morning hungover and thinking, did I say something last night? Did I text someone last night? Did I uh, misspeak or say something that should have just been kept up here and not um, brought out into the world? Uh, waking up sober feels good. Uh, I'm less cranky when I wake up. I'm more hungry when I when I wake up now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, yeah, today's today's meeting was about um, responsibility and um, a new life. So definitely taking responsibility of my sobriety has gotten me to my new life, and I feel that everything else is working out in God's plan. The fact that I have a job now, the fact that I have a primary care doctor that's taking care of me, the fact that I'm on the road to getting my light driver's license back. Sorry guys, it's a bumpy road. The fact that I still have people that support me and friends that, are, that still have my back and family that has it walked away or tried to jump ship, I think that um, everything is working out in the higher powers plan and I just gotta trust it and um, just go with the flow and not stress out too much. Right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, just like in yesterday's vlog, mom went to an Al Anon meeting yesterday and she had a good time. Um, and hopefully she'll go again next week. They do hers. Her meetings are once a week at the place where she likes to go. Um, I go every day to my AA meetings and um, I've also started planning ahead and I'm gonna be meeting with my sponsor once a week. So I'm gonna be doing double time on those days that I meet up with my sponsor one-on-one -on -one so that we can move forward with the steps. I am 100% committed to step one already and I'm ready to hit up step two, three, and four, five, all the way to step 12, but I'm in no rush. We'll see how long it takes and then um, we'll go from there. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that the vlogs are back and I will talk to you guys soon. Hopefully we can be big winners at Grayton today and um, enjoy our single cup coffee maker. Okay, you guys, just wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. You guys, you know we're not in the bay anymore when you see... There's a dude riding a horse on the street. <laughs> uh, if you guys watch my slot videos, you guys know this intro. Hey, what's up, everyone? We just got to Green Casino. We are parked in C4, and we're about to head to the casino entrance. And I'll take you guys along. What is up everyone? It is Saturday, September 15th. Just got home from the casino. It is now um, almost 11 o'clock p.m. I uh, didn't win at the casino today. Um, it was cool though. Got to meet up with my brothers out there. Um, <clears throat> something weird happened at the casino and I don't really want to talk about it right now. And I will probably talk about it in another vlog. So let's go ahead and read tonight's reading, and it is called A Beautiful Response. So the reading is, He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. The reflection today was, Jesus was never afraid to enter homes where there was illness. He didn't wait until everything was in order before he would visit. When Jesus entered, he made things better. The woman who was healed of her fever immediately began to serve those in her home. What better response to being touched by Christ than to serve? The prayer today is, Jesus, assist me in bringing your presence into my own home. 
<sighs> so... I got nothing. I got nothing today, you guys. The woman who was healed of her fear immediately began to serve those in her home. What better response to being touched by Christ than to serve? <clears throat> okay. To be of service. Okay. I guess I think I think I need to pray more for that. Jesus, Jesus, assist me in bringing your presence into my own home. Yeah, I gotta pray for that one today. So let's end the vlog the way we usually do. Be confident, be honest, be humble, and most of all, be well. Take care. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Story I used to hear to run on